Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. I believe you're already familiar with the symbols. Actually, internally, JavaScript used some so-called well-known symbols that uh, works for specific syntax or specific algorithms. And these symbols are exposed by symbol dot this on these the properties on global symbol, and uh, uh, it give us the ability to hook into the internal logic of JavaScript. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the symbol iterator. Uh, I believe you're already familiar with it, but uh, stick stay with me. I put the links about the symbol iterator on the description of this video. If you're interested, please take a look. Let's just uh, um, take uh, create an object. Okay, first it is a an empty object, and if we call const item of a. Obviously, you will get an error for type error. A is not iterable. Or let's say B, we use spread operator A. Obviously, A is not iterable. So to make things work, we need to change A into iterable. Uh, the, by meaning iterable, it means that uh, the object, the target, must have a property called symbol.iterator. This iterator should return an, an iterator. That makes it makes it uh, the up target iterable. Let's rewrite it. So let's create a C. Now let's add the symbol iterator. Uh, the symbol to it, and by the implementation, we would return an iterator. So we sh it should be in an object with a next function. Next function should return. An object with value, let's say it's just one, and also the down flag to, to indicate that if there is any more values ahead. Um, if we return a fixed value, it will stop at this one point. So uh, let's make it dynamic. Say we want the symbols, uh, we want the iterator to go from one to three. Uh, let's put the value in a closure before the return here that's the value equals one so now we set the return the value uh, if it is done we stop at three so the value if it is bigger than three then the done is true so there's no more values ahead and we need to increment it so we uh, increment here so yeah now we say take a look at the const item of C we console console log item. See, we got one, two, three. And that's it. So the, this is what the symbol iterator means. And also, we could take like const d equals. We can spread it. See, let's say what it is. D d is one, two, three. We turn uh, the object with an iterator protocol iterable protocol to array. Right, pretty cool, right? So there might be a lot of other cases which this uh, symbol iterator is used, but for this video, I'm going to talk about mainly these two, and that's it. So hope it helps, and I will talk about the well-known symbols more in the following videos. Please stay tuned. Bye bye.